What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is F86 versus F86. It's me against Feisty. And uh, we're gonna see how it plays out. I'm gonna try to give him a hard time. I'm sure he'll give us a hard time. And uh, hopefully we can have a good fight here. Now, coming up to the merge here, pretty high altitude, about 20,000 feet. And here's the merge. I'm gonna turn across his tail here. Looks like we're going two circle. No, he's forcing a one circle here. So I've been flying the F-86 a lot more on the channel, and i got to be honest, I, I really, really like it. It's very maneuverable. Uh, the roll rate's really nice, especially for an aircraft of that era. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of like it. It makes these fights feel a little bit, you know, spicier because he can roll quicker, so can I. And uh, kind of adds a little bit of adrenaline. you got to really pay attention to what's going on. And the other thing with the F-86 is the terrible frontal visibility. It's like the F-14. Um, you know, they were like, hey, I think he's got too much visibility. Let's put a compass in front of his face as well. So, other than that, though, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, looks like we've transitioned into a raid fight here. And you see this compass right in front of like where I'd want to pull him into the HUD and shoot him? There's a giant compass in, front, in my face. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. It's like, why can't you put that down a little bit? You know, I can't look down at a compass. It's got to be right in front of my face. I don't know. Anyway, so here is the raid fight. Looks like we're actually winning. Uh, he may have gotten a little bit too slow on the way down good news for me almost had him there at least scared the shit out of him enough to uh, make him try to jink and here he goes trying to roll it out idle boards I see his uh, air brakes out there try to use the uh, vertical here he's trying to force an overshoot obviously did a pretty good job of it too Just trying to roll with them here. Oh, I don't like this. If he pulls hard here, he's going to get a shot. Yep, here he comes. Oh! Lucky to be alive there. Let's return the favor. I think I can do the same thing to him. And I lost my HUD. Oh no. I hit him. Good hits there. So when he hit me, he damaged me enough that I lost my HUD. So I'm shooting blind here. Oh. Oh, I think I put that right into the cockpit. Damn. It's one dead feisty. <laughs> yeah, that feels good, man. Woo!
All right, here we go with round two. Now, just keep in mind, because this is a symmetric dogfight, we're both in F-86s, there's no point of talking about, oh, he's, you know, better than in the one circle or the two circle. He's better than me or something like that. It's the same aircraft. Uh, both of us can do the same thing. Uh, most of it's going to come down to pilot skill and uh, energy management. Whoever does, you know, manages their energy better will probably win. And here we go for the merge. Looks like we're both going to the vertical. Going to go ahead and get the one circle here. And I can maybe get inside of his turn. It's looking pretty good here. And I should be able to take a shot at him as he goes by. Now just keep in mind the F-86 does have a very primitive radar lead computing thing for the guns. Um, I just don't like to use it. I like the World War II deflection style shooting. Um, but if you have the F-86, I mean, give it a try. You might not like it or you might love it. So Now here we are in fairly high altitude. You can see the contrails there. And this obviously is going to decrease aircraft performance, but once again, we're in the exact same aircraft, so it doesn't really matter. Everything's equal. Um, even the fuel states are equal. So um, literally comes down to who can manage energy better than the other. And Okay, things are going better for him. I've gotten a little too slow here. This is a nose to tail fight here. Oh, I'm coming around. Nice. Managed to slot him behind him pretty nicely there. And now I might lose him in the clouds here. Using his smoke trail to keep visual on him. Shit. I just need a little bit of luck. I need one of these to connect. Whoa. Getting a little slow here again. See, he's got his nose dumped. I've dumped mine. All right, and nicely tucked into the raid fight at this point. A nose to tail fight on the deck. And, dude, imagine you lived in this city and there were just two F 86s, like building level. Just like circling above your little town or city, just ripping 50 cows at each other. <laughs> insane, man. Insane. Oh, almost had a shot there. Oh. Almost drilled it on the side of that building there. Uh, it happens, but you know that one or two seconds that I had to come out of the turn fight, level the wings to not hit that building. Um, if you think about it, if we're pulling 15 to 20 degrees a second through these turns, one or two seconds of me wing level uh, equates to almost 20 to 40 degrees a second of you know turn rate advantage for the bandit. So that's going to cost me for sure. I pulled him into the HUD there to take a shot at him, but uh, he didn't fall for it. And he's now outrating the shit out of me here. Which is a serious problem. Just trying to see if I can offset the circles a little bit and take a high aspect shot at him. These rate fights, they can get boring. And again, I see a lot of comments of people like, so dog fights are just two planes doing circles around each other. Yeah, that's what it looks like if you don't understand what you're looking at. All right, and right here we got a rate fight, and if you look at the 
the cues here, I am very seriously losing, which means as he outrates me, I'm going to tighten down the turn when I see the lead. And hopefully I can force him outside of my circle. All right, here he comes. We're pulling hard. Okay, there goes this round short. We're going to reverse the turn here and see if we can at least neutralize. Okay, oh, kind of lost visual here. Where'd he go? Oh, 6 o'clock high. Great. Fantastic. That's why you don't want to lose visual. If I had any chance of neutralizing, I screwed it up right there by losing visual. Ah, working very hard here. Oh, shit. I gotta level her out. Turn into her. Gotta keep it level, keep it level. Come on. Level. Oh! Alright, guys, quick little tag for your view here. This is Feisty, this is me. There's the merge. You can see I'm a speed of Mach 0 0.92. He's 8.8, so I'm a little bit faster than him. He's gonna go into the vertical. And you can see that here we have a one circle turn, uh, nose to nose, this is one circle. And now I am inside of his turn circle, so I beat him there, um, partially because I pulled a little bit harder in the turn there. And here are the first set of rounds, just a little short, just a little bit. And he reverses once again, forcing a one circle, again crossing in front and allowing another shooting opportunity for me. If I was a better shot, this fight might have already been over. And the continuous, uh, here's the roll here actually, uh, in an attempt to force an overshoot. And you can see that I'm actually doing a decent job at the beginning here, staying behind him. And then he starts to kind of turn the table here. Now I'm out in front just looks like he did some bigger leaps, got a little bit slower, used his speed break, and manages to force me out in front. And so we're just rolling here, trying to get nose on each other, get some shots off. And this is the point where we transition into the ground, for the, the ground transition for the rate fight. And we're coming up on the part that I want to talk about. You would have seen this in the old F-16 video. Um, you can see here I am outrating the shit out of him on the way down. Um, right here you can see I'm 20... Watch this, 24, 24, 25, 25, 27, 25, 27, 21. 9.9, jeez. .9, from me. And 24, 25. So... Um, I outrated for a couple seconds there, probably like a 10 degrees difference, and that's really why the nose is coming around here. You can see um, Feisty getting a 15 degree a second, I'm getting 25, so quite a dramatic difference in terms of degrees a second through the circle. Um, I'm sitting at a Mach 0 0.44, he's sitting at Mach 0 0.62, so he's a little bit faster. I'm sitting more um, in the area where the F-86 likes to rate fight. Um, I think Feisty hadn't quite figured out what that speed was at this point during the fight. And I almost hit him there, and this is the part where I almost hit the building. And you can see by the time I recover from almost hitting the building, he's halfway through the circle already. So that cost me quite a bit. Now, I pull him back into the hut and try to take a high aspect shot there, and it doesn't really work out. And we spend the next quite a while raid fighting on the ground. And right here, this is the part that I want to show you. Um, so here he starts outrating me and he comes up behind me, right? And I'm waiting until I see the lead, which is right here, full frontal profile and a little bit of underbelly, which is what I see right here now. 
right? So I know he's pulling the lead, he's pulling me into the hut to take the shot, and I'm gonna start pulling hard on the stick, pulling G's to tighten down the turn. And so what's the, what that's gonna do is as he tries to line up the shot here, I'm gonna pull hard on the stick and I'm gonna shoot over here. There will still be a second where he might be able to hit me, but generally I'm gonna shoot out of his HUD is the, uh, is the idea. So right here, he's got the necessary lead. Right there, you can see underbelly of the aircraft. And you can see me pulling now 5.7 Gs, 5.9, 6.3, and you can see those rounds fall short. And he tries to match that, pulling a 6G, I'm pulling 6.8. And as I see him go outside of my turn circle is when I will reverse the turn, but by using the vertical. So I'll come around this way. And try to force like a rolling scissor or something to try to neutralize the fight. Now, unfortunately, I lose visual and I screw it up. And that's really what happened here. And now he's sitting back there and it's just a... Uh, right here I think is where he kills me we get into the rolling scissor and he kills me so good kill all right guys so that's going to be the tag view for today thank you for watching and a big thank you to feisty for helping out with this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye guys